<laughs> Carolyn, I have a lot of clients that have difficulty making sound while they're self-pleasuring and sound when they're orgasm. Sometimes you can see them like their throat uh, tightens up. Yes. <laughs> because they're, they're trying to hold that sound inside and be quiet. Why is it important to make sound? Blocking sound blocks your orgasm because orgasm is about blood flow, blood flow, oxygen. And also if I want to pull the energy through the body, I might have a quick tension orgasm in the genitals, but if I really want to feel it, I'm taking breaths. Any physical act, we're breathing, mm -hmm. we're making sounds, right? When you work out, do you not make any sounds? Right. When you eat good food, do you not make any sounds? <laughs> when you're dancing, do you not make any sounds? Mm -hmm. Making sound is natural and normal, and it's part of the experience of being in your body. If you are in your body, you're going to be releasing sound. Now, you're not going to be releasing sound in the beginning, right? Because in the beginning, it feels nice. It feels good. But we're not having those strong sensations yet. So in the beginning, it's not going to be like what you see in adult entertainment. It's, and we're still distracted. We're still in the mind, mm -hmm. right? And then five minutes in, oh, it's, I start to feel something. Ten minutes in, that's when I'm start. I'm going to be breathing more because now I have 10 minutes of movement, 10 minutes of my hands and my pelvic floor muscle and my hips and moving 10 minutes of that buildup. Then I'm going to start releasing some sound. And really the sound we released for the first orgasm is not the same as the third and fourth. And that's how I gauge when I'm done with a session, because as women, we can go for hours is when I start making really loud sounds. Yes. And I'm out of breath, then I know. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And again, adult entertainment, the sounds that we see viewed are not the kind of sounds I make. Um, the, the sounds we see in adult entertainment are more like, ah, ah, you know, higher pitched. And I know when I get to the end, a couple of orgasms in, I am just much lower. It's like coming from my body, you know, down below where my vulva is. This like, it just comes up through my belly and it's this low, deep sounds. Um, and, you know, I may say some words. Uh, <laughs> we know the word you say, Laura. Right. <laughs> F-bomb, that's what I know. You're right. building up. <laughs> Exactly. So it's okay. It's okay to have that release and make that connection. I know I'm in my body and I am not in control. When I'm making those sounds, I am in my body and I am connecting to my pleasure. So a good way to, to get comfortable in making sounds, because we've been stifled in every way, in every aspect of our lives. So speaking our minds and stating our pleasure and really being connected to the body. So how do, what does it sound like? The sounds of pleasure sound like when we take our shoes off after a long day. Mm -hmm. It's a, oh, mm, oh. Try making just, ah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Just make that sound, oh, mm. Right? Yeah. Mm. Maybe you just go, mmm. Yeah. Try just releasing a little bit of sound to see mm -hmm. what feels natural. Because there'll right. be a sound yeah. that you go to, and it's pretty guttural usually. Mm -hmm. um, let yourself just start to release, start to release. And there will be a moment where the body takes over. Yes. Right. Everyone makes sounds when they orgasm. Right. And you deserve to make sounds when you orgasm it.